Wait, bitch. Did Ray J say he did nine in jail? No, bitch. Not nine years, bitch. Not nine months, bitch. Not nine days, bitch. Nine hours, bitch. Whoa, what's jam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil, and this is going to be a review on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 1, Episode 7. Let's go. Bitch, why the scene opens up with Omarion and April doing Lamines in the empty bathtub, bitch? Girl, why you just can't have a normal bird, bitch? Why you got y'all got money so y'all gotta do all this extra shit? Why you just can't go get you a cute little epidural and bitch lay on the bed like everybody else, bitch? But who am I to try to make you have a regular bird? Okay? If you wanna have your baby in the pool like a whale, bitch, you can have your baby in the pool like a whale, bitch. Y'all got whale money. Now they gets out of the empty bathtub and they start talking about getting the baby circumcised, bitch. So, April, like, while we're on this topic, bitch, you need to get circumcised too, bitch, because that dick is too big and all that extra skin at the tip is a little bit uncomfortable for me. Okay? Girl. Bitch, and I have seen the pictures online of Omarion. Bitch, he got a big old dick, bitch. Yes! <laughs> okay? Bitch, big old dick. Okay, girl? Big healthy, meaty, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Later on in the scene, Omarion tells his mama that he thinks she should apologize to April for saying that she don't think that she's ready to be a mother when the girl is about to go in, bitch, labor, okay? So, bitch, why when Omarion mama got by April, bitch, she act like she didn't know what she was there to apologize for? Bitch, if you gonna apologize to me, Bitch, I'm going to need you to acknowledge the fact that you was wrong. Ain't that the whole reason of an apology, huh? Like, what's the tea? Now we got Tiara Marie in the studio with Bird. And bitch, I must say, she did sound better than she sounded with that live performance last week. I don't know if they had auto-tune going or how it was going in the studio. But she did sound better than she did last week. Practice makes perfect, child. Okay? So... They in the studio, then they discussed their previous beef or whatever, and then they started talking about the song. Tiara Marie can't believe that a song like this came from a nigga like Bird, because she feeling everything about the song, like the song is everything that she's going through. So then Bird comes in and say that, oh, I might have to tell Ray J that, fuck, Tiara might want to smash a nigga, and fuck, you know I'm a smasher. That's basically what the fuck he was saying, Okay. You're on live, bitch, and I'm recording, so say hey to my subscriber. Hey! <laughs> You're so stupid, girl. <laughs> Hello? 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 And he finally finds her, and then he just start going off on the lady telling her that she's the reason that Morgan got fired. But okay, if she the reason that Morgan got fired, just let that be the reason. Why you feel like you had to go up to her and confront her and all this other shit? And then, for that bitch, Ray J, you see, she's encouraging Morgan to follow some dreams of being like a celebrity correspondent or something, as if it just wasn't nothing. But if that was that girl dreams, if that's what she want to do, bitch, let that girl follow her fucking dreams, okay? Bitch don't want to work for you their whole fucking life. Drunk ass. So, bitch, he putting his hands all in that girl face and everything, bitch. Next thing you know, security was escorting his ass clean out of Power 106. Bitch, so now we got Hazel in the studio with Masika, bitch. And Hazel lets Masika hear this fucking song. And Masika is like, bitch, has Berg heard these lyrics? And she like, no. Because Berg done told, Masika came in a confessional like Berg done told this bitch several times 
that he do not want to fuck with her. He do not want to be bothered with her fucking ass. And this whole makes a song about him, bitch. No, ma'am, girl. Masika got that whole right on together, too. But I like Masika, but it seemed like some shady shit gonna go on with Masika next week. I don't know, but we're going to stay posted, bitch, and I'm going to give it to your ass if it's shady, Masika. You in the clear for right now. But as soon as something shady go on, bitch, I'm chopping you. So then Masika started telling her everything that happened with Nikki and how she keep asking all these fucking questions. Still, bitch, you shouldn't have to ask that many questions, bitch. It, you should know, bitch, it's known that we done fucked around and you still got more questions. That whole so plastic. Wait, bitch. Did Ray J say he did nine in jail? No, bitch. Not nine years, bitch. Not nine months, bitch. Not nine days, bitch. Nine hours, bitch. Don't tell nobody else you did nine in jail, bitch. Please don't do that. If you want any type of street credibility, your best bet is just to say you've never been to jail, okay? Because nine hours ain't shit, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you felt a little, you felt some type of way for them nine hours. But, bitch, try being in there for a week, a week and a half, bitch, okay? So then when the nigga on his team, like, picked him up or whatever, he like, I don't understand what the fuck going on. Why am I picking you up from jail? Do you have a drinking problem? Ray J was like, man, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Bitch, if you drunk all day from morning to night, you don't think they got something to do with something, bitch? Nah, Nia Riley is finally about to introduce Soldier Boy to her daddy. But I think that it's so weird that they've been together off and on for eight years. And what, Soldier Boy, like 24, 23, 24, 25? So eight years ago, bitch, y'all parents wasn't like worried about who y'all was around and who y'all was with. That young, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was still like teenagers. So, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Something just not don't seem right about that. But anyway, long story short, Teddy Riley comes or whatever, and he tells Nia to excuse herself from the table or whatever. So, he talks to Soldier Boy, and he grills the fuck out of Soldier Boy. But Soldier Boy... I like the way Soulja Boy responded. I didn't like all his answers. Like, when he asked you, did y'all have relations on the first night? Bitch, you were supposed to automatically say no, bitch, to me. Because, bitch, I ain't no way I would have been like, well, I want to say no. Uh-uh. Bitch, I would have had to lie with a straight face on that one. I ain't about to tell you I smashed your daughter or your son the first night. I'm just saying. Bitch, I'll be discriminating. So, Tierra Marie hears about all this shit that's going on with Ray J and takes it upon herself to meet up with this dude named Cash that works on Ray J team that she's still cool with to see what's going on with Ray J and if he all right because she heard that he kicked the police car window out and that he spit on officers and shit. Ray J, bitch, you ain't nothing but an attention whore. You doing all that shit for attention. And then that bitch gonna say... Well, I, I didn't know how I was going to react. That was my first time. Bitch, the handcuffs are to restrain you. So what made you think you could kick the people window out? Bitch, but let that would have been somebody normal, bitch. They would have got all kind of charges for that shit. That's what I don't like, bitch. These celebrities be getting away with fucking murder. But a regular citizen like me, bitch, I had one fucking fight. And them hoes treat me like I tried to kill this boy. Okay? That is fucked up. Uh, I'm not feeling it. And then Cash puts it in Tierra head that bitch her and Ray J not through yet. Tierra, bitch, don't let nobody else tell you what you through with, girl. That's y'all girl's problem. Y'all listen to everybody but y'all fucking self, bitch. Listen to yourself sometime. Listen to your conscience. If your conscience telling you stay the fuck away from Ray J, stay the fuck away from Ray J. And bitch, you stupid. Cause I wouldn't have wanted to know nothing about no fucking Ray J and what he was going through. I'd just be like, nah, look at this stupid ass bitch on TV all on the news. Stupid ass. Okay? That's about it. Bitch, you ain't got to be Captain Save-A-Hole.
save your fucking voice. Now, she goes, she leaves from with Cash, and she goes check on Ray J in the studio. And when I tell you Ray J was a complete other bitch to the girl, bitch, a complete other bitch to the girl. Like, he was throwing that whole so much shade, bitch. I couldn't even tell a forecast, okay? It was like, like, he told a girl she was delusional that they ain't never fucked around like that. Like, go together on some shit. They just was fucking. And then they would stop fucking. And then they would start fucking. And Sierra Marie, bitch, I'm very proud of you that you just got up and walked out like a lady should have. You could have still got him together. But you, you ain't even have to do all that crazy shit. Just leave his ass alone, bitch. Because, bitch, he is a downward spiral, bitch. Ray J always trying to do something to get attention since they don't fucking play his music at Power 106. Or Q93, or 97.9 to be, or 102.9, or 97.1, or 98.5. Damn, bitch. You ain't getting no playtime, bitch. No airtime, okay? That's fucked up, Reggie. Bitch, you better stick to TV and make your coins that way. You always on a new dating show. Bitch, you better come out with another one. Bitch. So Hazel finally recalls something to the track that Bird gave her or whatever. And she want Bird to hear it. So they in the car together or whatever. She put the song on, bitch. And it's a song about Bird, bitch. About four page letters and shit. Hazel, bitch, you could never be no Aaliyah, bitch. So, bitch, I don't want to even hear you use for age letter again, okay? So, girl, Berg listening to the song, and he noticing that the song sound like it's about him, bitch. So, he like, wait, 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 wait. And turn the fucking song off, bitch. Ain't even listen to the whole song. The whole ain't even recorded. She only recorded one or two verses, but, bitch, he ain't even listen to all of that. He stopped that fucking song. He was like, wait, wait, hold on. What the fuck you talking about? Four page letters and shit. I don't fuck with you like that. Like, you know, we just was fucking for them eight years. Like, he was giving it to that hoe. And when I tell you, bitch, next thing you know, Hazel was at that bitch head. Then you got security. And bitch, Berg a hoe. Because Berg looked like he was about to try to run on that girl. Okay? What nigga does that? Just get her off of you. You ain't got to, like, hit her or run on her, bitch. That's a whole female. She might not look like it, but that's a female. Okay? Bitch, I had to get you here, so I had to. Bitch, it was an open opportunity. Bitch, security pulls both of them out of the truck or whatever. Berg, bitch ass, grabs this girl purse and empties everything out of the fucking girl purse. What's up with these niggas all loving hip-hop in these girl purses, girl? If Saigon not throwing this girl Erica purse, bitch, like a football, we got Berg and Ray J emptying purses on the ground. Who does that? Stop that shit. Y'all niggas is looking lame as fuck. And this show is getting boring as fuck, okay? So, that's basically what happened on this episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 1, Episode 7. If this your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to bring a friend. Thumbs up and leave a comment, okay? Bitch, I'm your boy, New Orleans Lil. But first, hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle. Want the host to subscribe and comment just a little. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle. Want the host to subscribe and comment just a little. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, mix, mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, 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 mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, 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 mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, mix. Peace. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil.